Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, hi, welcome, my name is Chilini and I hope you stick around because today we are looking at how to take care of our skin through the winter and if you're like me, you live in the northern hemisphere, you know how harsh our winters can get and it can be especially brutal on your skin and if you have dry skin, oily skin, sensitive skin, all skin. We are talking about how to take care of it through the winter. I hope you find this information helpful. If you like this video, please give me a like, share, and let me know in the comments what you guys do to take care of your skin through the winter. Thank you so much for watching. Think of our skin as a juicy watermelon filled with water. It's fresh, plump, and alive. Now if you squeeze all that water out, then it becomes dry, wrinkly, and damaged. Our skin is constantly craving moisture no matter the skin type, but daily environmental exposures such as the sun, wind, extreme temperatures, and even a diet high in sugar and salt can cause our skin to lose moisture. This is why proper hydration and sunscreen are very important. This includes daily moisturizing with natural and high quality ingredients that don't harm the skin along with applying sunscreen with SPF 30 or higher is best. Yes, even in the winter, because a sunny day in mid-February can still cause UV damage to the skin and eyes. Now, there are so many products on the market these days that cater to every skin type imaginable. Dry, combo, oily, and sensitive. Let's start with oily skin. Now, oily skin doesn't necessarily mean hydrated skin. When you have oily skin, the uppermost layer of the skin lacks water due to weather changes, using the wrong skin care, or even things like genetics and hormonal imbalances. So to overcompensate for the lack of water in your skin, it produces more oil than it can use. This can lead to clogged pores, breakouts, and dryness. You must hydrate oily skin, but only with ingredients that won't clog pores and cause more breakouts. These include lightweight oils such as jojoba, acai, rosehip, and camellia oils along with squalene, hyaluronic acid, niacinamides, and ceramides. Also, gentle daily exfoliating can unclog pores and wash away excess oils and dead skin cells. Now let's take a look at dry skin. When your skin is dry, it's irritated, tight, and itchy. Dry skin can develop due to many reasons such as cold weather, age, bathing habits, and even certain medications. But whatever the cause may be, one thing is for certain, it craves moisture. Using skincare with ingredients like oats, squalene, hyaluronic acid, glycerin, and coconut oil, to name a few, can improve and restore stinging and cracked skin, which if left untreated can lead to premature aging. Let's take a look at sensitive skin. Sensitive skin is more prone to react to things like detergents, fragrances, and cosmetics to which normal skin does not have any reaction at all. It is fragile skin, usually accompanied by stinging, feelings of heat, tightness, redness, or itching. Ingredients such as chamomile flower extract and green tea along with hyaluronic acid and squalene can relieve these symptoms while providing moisture to the skin. Now, is there such a thing as normal skin? Yes, there sure is. Normal skin is balanced skin, feeling neither too dry nor too oily. It's not prone to breakouts, flakiness, or even feeling greasy or tight. People with normal skin typically have small pores, smooth skin texture, and are less prone to sensitivity or blemishes. Now what is hyaluronic acid? Hyaluronic acid is a gooey slippery substance that your body produces naturally. It exists throughout the whole body, especially in the eyes, joints, and skin. It helps keep things hydrated. Hyaluronic acid is often used for treating dry eyes. It's also used in moisturizing creams, lotions, ointments, and serums. Now what is squalene? Squalene comes from a lipid that naturally occurs in your skin. 
It's one of the more common chemical compounds that make up sebum or the oil that's secreted from the sebaceous glands. Now that makes squalene a great moisturizer that helps slow down signs of aging when it comes to your skin and helps prevent split ends or breakage in your hair. Now let's take a look at some products which contain some of these ingredients. This cream has such a gel-like consistency, it's so slippery and goes on so smoothly. It's also very non-greasy, but it's so easy to spread all over your face and great for dry skin that feels so tight and itchy. This Glow Booster is super non-greasy and lightweight oil that you can just easily spread all over your face and it just instantly revives your skin. And it smells so good, it smells just like honey. So it's been a couple of hours since I initially put my skincare on and as you can tell my skin, it on, especially on my forehead, it's looking tight and it feels dry. So I'm gonna try this serum stick by Tatcha. Let's see how it feels. As soon as I place it on the skin, it just literally melts onto the skin and easily spreads all over. It's, it feels smoother than butter. Your skin looks healthy, it gives you a beautiful glow and all the tightness is gone. This is so great for on the go. I'm already in love with this.
as some of you already know this is my go-to everyday moisturizer and the reason why I love this so much is because the way it feels on the skin it's honestly there's no equivalent to this very product and you can see how much it hydrates it, it just like grips onto the skin and you can smooth it all over it it's so slippery and you just want to like live in it it's so hydrating and gives your skin such a beautiful glow it looks healthy and plump This gel cream feels so luxurious on your skin that you think it costs more than it actually does. It relieved all my dryness, gave me a nice glow, super easy to spread around, and it just smells so good. This moisturizer is perfect for those of you with sensitive skin. It goes on super smooth, non-greasy at all, and it's just perfect for all year round. This eye cream literally melts onto your eyelids and it gives you the smoothest looking eyelids. It depuffs and is super hydrating. This has become part of my skincare now forever. This little moisturizer is more like an ointment. It's made with concentrated collodial oats and is so perfect for eczema, peeling skin, dry eyelids, every, everywhere basically. I put it even on my lips if they're a little bit too dry and it has literally saved my skin. This sunscreen is absolutely amazing. It goes on so smooth, non-greasy, and it doesn't leave a white cast over your face. I use this alone and I use this uh, under my makeup and it's just an overall great product.
This camellia oil is super lightweight and it absorbs so quickly it just goes on so non-greasy but it's easy to spread around so this is something I just run to and grab and lather all over my face whenever I'm feeling dull or I feel like I have some uneven skin tone believe me it just gives you a glow that I have never experienced before This foaming cleanser leaves your skin feeling super soft and minty fresh and it doesn't strip away your natural moisture. It is perfect for those with acne prone skin. This gel cleanser quickly became one of my favorite products because it cleans so well without stripping away your natural moisture. I really like it. It's so good for sensitive skin types, eczema, dry skin, you name it. And this is my all-time favorite cleanser. It is so creamy and yet it cleanses so well without stripping away your moisture and it doesn't leave the skin tight or, uh, or itchy afterwards. I use this literally every day. I really love this cleanser because it feels super lightweight and it's so good for sensitive skin. It doesn't leave your skin feeling dry or uh, too tight. Alright you guys, so that is it for today. I hope you found this video informative and if you liked it, please give me a like, share, comment, all that good stuff. Until next time, love you guys. Bye!